Hey everyone, welcome back to Motion UX. Today we're gonna dive into component properties. And this is a fantastic new update with Figma that changes the workflow of how we use components and variants and really streamlines that process. So let's dive in. So here we are inside of Figma. And if you've used components or variants before, this will look familiar to you. This is essentially a component set. One component that has many different variants that you can change, a button with an icon, a button without an icon, a button with an icon with a green background, without a green background. And what this allows you to do is if I actually create an instance of this component and I select this button here, I can change this to be any one of these different variants. I can go in here and I can also edit the text to be whatever I would like it to be. And so this is a very typical workflow when creating design systems or really just simplifying your design workflow. With the new update of component properties, it streamlines this experience a little bit more. Because as you can imagine, if I have all of these different variants of this one button, this list right here can get pretty long and this can get pretty unwieldy here. So component properties allows us a new way to start organizing our components in a neater way. So essentially what it does is it takes all of this and compresses it down into this component set here. Yet we still have the same level of customization when we have a component instance. So let me show you here. So if I go ahead and create an instance of this button, so you'll notice a few new things here. We have this ability to have kind of a Boolean operation, which is basically on or off, show or not show, those sorts of things. And we can use that to hide or show different elements within our design. So this could be an icon, it could be an image. We also have here what we always had, which was the ability to switch between the variants within our component set. And right here we have an easy way to manipulate the text through this property panel. And the reason why it's really powerful to have it here, say we have a bunch of these buttons, I could go in here and say, this is now add to cart. And I can go ahead and I can copy and paste and copy and paste and copy. Or I can select all of these instances and I have access to all of these properties at one time. And so instead, I can just change it all at the same time. So this really helps simplify a lot of things that we typically do with instances and components and things like that. So now that we understand the benefits of component properties, let's actually dive in and see how do we actually create something like this. So to start off, I'll make a simple uh, button component. So I'm gonna type the word button, do shift A to add an auto layout. I will add a filled background that will be kind of a, a gray and change this text to black. I'll add a four pixel radius and then I'll also drop in an icon that I have here, okay? Make sure that everything is center left aligned and just make sure everything is scaling the way that it needs to be and that's good to go. So I could stop right here and just say, hey, this is the thing and I'm gonna copy and paste and use this throughout all of my design, but say I need to change the size of this radius. Now I'm actually gonna have to go in and change every single one of these individually. And that's where components start to become really powerful is when we want to make one change that applies universally across our design. So if I go ahead and delete all this stuff, and I select our button, I can go ahead and turn it into a component just by tapping this icon right here where it will create a component. A few things change here. We now see that it's a little bit of a purple outline. We have this little icon that denotes that it's a master component. And if I go ahead and I duplicate this, you can see that these are the outline diamond icon right up here. And that shows that this is an instance of that master component. I can still come in here and I can change stuff. I can duplicate it. All of these can have little different names. And if we actually go to our master, and if I change the radius, see it applies across everything. If I change the color, it applies across everything. And so that's where components are really powerful. But we wanna have even more control over this. We wanna be able to show the icon, hide the icon, pick a different icon, different background color, and apply that universally across everything and have all of those things contained within one single component. So let's see how we do that. So what we can first do is we can ask ourselves, what are the things in here that we're gonna wanna show and hide and change and all of those sorts of things? And so I already know I'm gonna wanna be able to show and hide this button right here. And so I can go in here and I can double click this button and you can see now we have these new buttons here. And what this essentially says, take this property and turn it into a component property. Right here, this is where I would be able to change out my icons. And if I go ahead and I select this, we can say icon. And if we look at the master component now, we now have this new property, which this new property is a instant swap. But if I go ahead and 
look at my instance, you can see that allows me to have this drop down to change my icon to anything else. And it's very clearly labeled here. I know that this is going to be my icon. If I click it, I can change my icon. So really, really helpful. But we also want to be able to show and hide that icon. So if I go ahead and click into this specific icon, you can see that we have layer visibility here. And so if I make that into a component property, um, I can just label that as icon as well. And the value is true, which means yes, it's going to be visible uh, as default. And if I look at my master component, you can see this is a Boolean operation, which basically means it's either like on or off, yes or no. And if I go down here, I have this new property now, that's this toggle, which allows me to show and hide that specific icon on my component. And what's nice about this is if it is set to not show, it automatically removes any other properties that are associated with that specific layer so that it doesn't clutter up this panel here. So we also wanna be able to edit this text in the same way that I showed you earlier. So if I, again, click into this specific piece of text and I go down to the content here, I can make that into a component property. And so if we look at the master frame, we can see that we have the instance where we change the icon uh, layer, we can show and hide the icon, and we can also change the text. And if we look at the instance here, we can change this to be whatever we want, we can hide and show that icon, and we can also change the icon itself. So really helpful stuff. We also want to have some variants in here of this master component, where we have one with an outline button or different colors or uh, different sizes and so on. So to create variants, we can actually click our master component. It used to be that this plus here basically just created a new variant, but now we can actually use that to create um, different component properties or a variant. And so if we go ahead and select, hey, I want a new variant, you see not a lot changes here yet, except for we have this outline here that denotes, hey, this is going to be a component set of multiple variants. Right now we only have this one variant and we're gonna call this one just default. And if we go ahead and have this master frame selected and we do this plus, you can see, hey, it drops in a new variant. By default, it's just a duplicate of the very first one. We can go in here and we can say, hey, this one is going to be green. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the background color of this to a green color. If we jump into these individual variants, you can see that the properties and things that we have um, are not being shown. But if we select the master component window, we can see all the properties that apply to all of our instances below. And so if we're in here now, we can change this to green and we can change it back to default. And when we're in green, we can still have all of that control that we had before of showing and hiding and changing the text and all of those sorts of things. So you can see fairly quickly, we're able to create this really robust uh, customizable component that we can use all the way across our designs. And the component properties allows us to have a more simplified streamlined component set that still allows us that robust control of our component throughout our design. And that's it everyone, just a really quick overview of component properties and how it can really supercharge your workflow. And all the things that I covered can be applied to images, other text, other components, showing and hiding things. So I really encourage all of you to dive into Figma on your own, mess around with the component properties and really try to enhance your own workflows. Catch y'all next time.